Tonight at 5, we've dug up new information on the criminal history of the Lemonster man who's accused of disrupting a flight and stabbing a flight attendant. Police records show Francisco Severo Torres has had a number of run-ins with the law. And tonight he's facing several charges that could land him, li uh, could land him in prison. WBZ's Christina Hager spent today digging through court records. She's live in his home city of Lemonster tonight. Christina. Well, David, police say they've responded to a lot of calls involving this same man through the years, but this time it was the flight attendants and the passengers who had to respond. Just the whole situation was a little surreal. Lisa Olson recorded this on her cell phone during her United Air flight from L.A. to Boston Sunday. So since I'm taking over this plane... 33-year-old Francisco Torres, who's from Lemonster, arrested here at Logan Airport, now facing serious federal charges, accused of trying to open the emergency door during flight and trying to stab a flight attendant with a broken spoon. The United crew um, was amazing. They blocked the first class entrance, which led to the cockpit. The video shows Torres quickly tackled by a group of passengers. He tackled him to the ground, and there were probably about four to six of them that sat on top of him to restrain him. In Torres's Lemonster neighborhood, shock. We actually have two kids here, and I was like, oh my goodness, we live next door to that. Court documents show a history of mental illness. In 2015, he was accused of hitting a Fitchburg convenience store, passed a note to the clerk stating he had or needed a gun. The case was dismissed, and he was referred to a mental health treatment plan. In 2017, another case dismissed from an incident at this Lemonster home where he lives with his parents. His mother told police he grabbed and assaulted her. He sent the judge this letter saying he was off and on homeless and wanted to get a restraining order against thousands of people he felt harassed by. It Very is. scary, yeah. We did also speak with the Lemonster police chief. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll show you what he had to say about some of the calls they responded to over the years involving Torres. For now, we're live in Lemonster. Christina Hager, WBZ News.